Let's not beat around the bush. We're here in Wales to try and break Buckland Bend. A set of wheels. Why, you might well ask? Well, because EMTBs means a harder time on the wheels, right? What with the slightly heavier weight, the watts and torque from the motor, and look, the real reason is that we simply do more riding. A ton more, cover twice the amount of ground you do on an MTB in the same time. More than that, climbing. We do stuff MTB riders do not. Steeper, more technical, nastier. Oh, and we also don't carry mountain bikes on our backs. Well, not all the time, at least. Ah, thanks, James. In this video, we're going to show you the abuse an EMTB wheel has to deal with. Now I predict it's gonna be a pretty tough day. We are joined by James Heaton from WTB, who's been giving it the king size talk that he's got a pretty bulletproof set of wheels. James, what you got? Well, we're both set up with our hard hitting HTZ i30 wheels on our bikes. Um, I do have an i40 in the van that we might have to try out later. We'll see. Cheeky. Of course, we could just take the tire off the wheel and ride down through a ton of rocks which is all very well and good, but what does that actually prove? Somebody going down a track at five miles per hour for five minutes with no sideways loading. True, that rim would be totally unprotected, yet an EMTB wheel is expected to go through thousands of hours of use on mixed varied terrain. Actually, didn't you do 16,000K in your track rail? Yeah, that is right. Um, same bike, same wheel. I've recently freshened them up, so it looks a bit better, yeah. but yeah. It's all about the image, right? And here are the HTZ i30s, which are WTB's first purpose-built EMTB wheel set. They're wheels for those who like to smash through rocks all day long, WTB say, uh, without the fear of not making it through the ride. Now, a man who knows all about the pain and suffering that an MTB wheel goes through is eight-time Downeyville winner, uh, and a man who's had some part to play in the development of this wheel is Mark Weir. Now, Mark Weir, mostly rides an EMTB, and he also mostly rides in one of the toughest places on earth. Now, we did try our best to get Mark over here. Alas, he was too busy cooking steaks and shooting guns. Now, whilst we are here trying to break wheels, think of wheels as something you should definitely look at when buying an EMTB, or indeed upgrade after. Sadly, lots of brands will often skimp on wheel sets. They'll spec something less expensive, that you'll be having to replace down the road. We believe there are six different scenarios where EMTBs demand more durability than standard MTBs that are not purpose-built for EMTB. I think first up, James, even going along and across on single track is different on EMTB, right? Yeah, I mean, you're hitting things at a higher pace and you're doing more of it. So we're now approaching something which is as far removed from a bike park as I can possibly imagine. Oh, God. Oh, heat is on, heat on. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then, of course, you've got the downhill. Yeah, I mean, downhill, that's the killer, right, James? What do you reckon you do in an hour on an EMTB? Four to five I mean, downhill runs. That's going to be double what you do on an MTB, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, easily. And I guess that is, you know, that is where the abuse is going to take place, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And then, of course, you've got tacky, horrible climbs, totally out of reach to an MTB. I guess that's just another example of extended abuse, right? Yeah, I mean, it would make a good MTB hiker bike. It would. Yeah, and safer on the wheels for sure. <laughs> Breaking 
is another area where EMTBs have lots more weight and inertia going through the wheels into a turn. Acceleration, EMTBs are simply much faster and more aggressive out of corners and up steppy terrain. And finally, places. Think of an EMTB that takes you to new places, unknown ones, unpredictable ones, with more chance of rider error. James. Yeah. What was that WTB line? EMTBs get you deeper, farther and faster than a traditional MTB, right? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like you're going far or fast anytime soon. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, joking aside, we've been riding out for like six hours. You've, not, you've yet to hit me with any tech on the i30 wheels. Well, These guys want to know all about them. Okay, so, I mean, on an e-bike, yeah, you ride more. So what we've done is we've broke the wheel down into our three parts and we've added more to each of those parts. In the hubs, we've got more bearings. The, in the rims, more material, stronger rim. And lastly, onto the spokes. I mean, we haven't added more spokes, but what we've done is used thicker spokes. So they're 2.3 mil at the hub and they're right down to two mil at the, uh, at the rim and brass nipples only. No aluminium, brass nipples whoa, for strength. Whoa, whoa, what about, these guys want to know about loading of the nipples. So you can probably see with the rims, they're um, asymmetric. So first of all, the spoke holes are drilled off to one side. And what that allows us to do is use equal length spokes on both sides. That means equal spoke tension for uh, whichever way that wheel's wanting to flex, it should feel the same both ways. Keeps its durability, keeps its strength long-term. Um, but also the spoke drillings are drilled at the angle the spoke is gonna follow right the way through to the hub. So it just equalizes the load, it just means for a more durable, more reliable I, I, wheel. I didn't quite expect that much tech. <laughs> I mean, but I do love, I do love a good chat about asymmetry. <laughs> As, asymmetric wheels, I mean, they, I mean, even visually they're like, whoa, these are a bit different, right? Does asymmetry really matter? Yeah, if you want a consistent wheel that, that uh, is gonna give you the same flex either way, but also, Equal, le equal length spokes makes it much easier for the end consumer to replace their spokes. One size spoke fits either side, they haven't got to worry. WTB, I like your style, although I've never used a spoke spanner in my life. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, it's pretty hard on the brakes, wasn't it? That was massive descent. Yeah, oh, talking about that, actually, there's a feature I forgot to mention earlier. Um, if you notice on the hubs, they've got uh, heat sinks right behind the rotors to help keep your brakes cool on longer descents. Oh, the kind of flanges descents. there. Yeah, 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 so okay, cool. keeps the rotor and the caliper cooler for longer, basically. Uh, talking about heat, James, uh, now every time we go to a show, you'll see companies with e-bike specific wheels. The first thing, possibly the only thing to talk about is the steel freehab. You've not even mentioned the steel freehab either. I mean, I gotta say, we do have a heat treated <laughs> steel freehab. You're right, but that's not the only thing. Obviously the heat treated freehab does help with the scoring, etc. But another feature that we have, I mean, on top of multiple bearings stacked up inside, is we have a six pole simultaneous engagement. So rather can, than- Can I try to say that? Six pole simultaneous engagement? Yeah. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> Rather than two sets of three poles engaging one after the other, where your load is only split three ways, all six of ours engage at the same time. Yeah, there's a little bit more float, but when they do engage, it's, you know, the force is spread out, it's putting a lot less weight on your hub, a lot less weight on your poles, right. a more reliable wheel. Wow, there you go. Uh, wow, James Heaton, uh, the heat was on today. <laughs> These wheels can take a beating. Guys, if you have a look at some of the rim and tyre damage, it's quite significant, isn't it? I mean, my wheels were new today. There's literally scratches all over them from that really nasty limestone rock, right? Yeah. Uh, one final thing, folks. Um, WTB wheels up for the task. One thing we haven't mentioned is pointless having wheels if you haven't got the tyre. The tyre is the weak point, right? It is, yeah. I mean, when you've got... Uh, when you've got you know, multiple points of failure on a bike and one by one, you're making them stronger and stronger and stronger. You're gonna to get to something. And yeah, the last thing is the tires. So like we would always say spec a uh, dual ply tire on an e-bike. I mean, it makes total sense. It's it a bit does. extra weight, it but does. Wh why, why wouldn't you carry extra weight for that peace of mind? Exactly. Uh, folks, any questions uh, regarding uh, a proper e-mountain bike wheel? Let us know in the comments down below more than happy to get involved. Uh, James, thanks for helping me. I'm sorry you got distracted by the sheep. Uh, <laughs> let's go have a coffee.
Thanks for watching.